For a lot of students, learning math and science in a classroom can be overwhelming because all that complicated information is out of context. So let's turn it into fun and games. Jackie Danker is putting on her thinking cap and heading to the gym for STEM sports. Pack your lunch because we are headed back to school. But instead of the classroom, we're gym bound to learn STEM. And what STEM is is science, technology, engineering, and math. All of those things really make me nervous. <laughs> we're here to break that nervousness. And I'm told that it can be done with the sports education program, STEM Sports. This is a great way to learn because we're engaging students in play. As long as they're, it's called sneaky science. <laughs> There's science all around us, and certainly in sports. And so we've taken that and we've built curricula per sport and are issuing it all across the country. So using a bit of the STEM sports basketball curriculum, CEO Jeff Golner is giving us a little lesson. Starting with some b-ball science. We have a lesson on force and gravity, and so how it affects a basketball. Yes, we call that dribbling, but in reality, it's force and gravity. And there are scientific factors that go into that dribble. The surface you're playing on. Or things like weather. The conditions that affect the ball and the air and the molecules inside the basketball. Wow. There's a lot. Bounce it along to technology. We decided to look at basketball shoes and what technology has changed to evolve the basketball shoe. In the beginning, what they were playing in were very simple shoes. Now today, the newer shoes, look at all this technology. In fact, this doesn't even have laces. He says the students get to explore how the shoes have changed to support the ankle and increase the athlete's performance. This is like a straight jacket for the foot. Great point. Now let's talk engineering. So this is a process where kids get to build. In one lesson, students are given some craft sticks and rubber bands and are told to make a catapult. The catapult is designed as the motion of shooting a basketball. Besides becoming builders, they learn probability, tracking how many shots they make using their catapult. Finally, my arch nemesis, math. There is a way to actually work on fractions. <laughs> and percentages when you use the game of basketball. Okay. Let's take five shots. I'll track your makes and your misses. Game on, Jeff. Percentage part is gonna be easy. There you go. Okay, now after that awesome performance of one out of five shots, let's do the math. The fraction's one fifth, so you would just take the five and divide it up into the one to get your percentage, which would be 20%. This is rigged. Having fun while learning. Oh my gosh, you did it. With STEM sports.